In this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to configure the automatic statistical table in Dream Report. The automatic statistical table, or AST, allows a user to quickly create a summary or statistical table in just a few clicks. In Dream Report Studio, we'll click on the AST icon in the toolbox. After placing it on our report, we'll select a list of tags from our data sources. Then, we can select one or more predefined statistics or calculations for the tags. The tags can share the same calculations, or each tag can have its own unique set of calculations displayed. There are currently over 40 different statistics to choose from. We have the option of setting specific parameters for each calculation or accepting the defaults. Next, we'll set a common time period for all calculations. Like all objects in Dream Report, these can be calendar based, relative time periods, calculated time periods, or batch based. After setting display options like fonts, colors, and fields to display, you are ready to generate your report. Let's launch Dream Report Studio and open a project. We'll create a new report and give our report a name. Now the report file format is PDF and we'll just set it to auto open the PDF after generation. For the report header, I'll add a dynamic text object, which will be the report name. Set a couple of font properties and we're ready now to insert an automatic statistic table. I'll browse for tags from our data sources and add them to the list. Next, we'll select which functions we want to include in our table. As you can see, there are many to choose from. Since these are analog tags we're working with, I'll select min, max, average, and standard deviation to include in this table. I'll set some options, in this case just for the average tag. Let me change the caption, number of decimal places, maybe some advanced options, such as conditional formatting, maybe to change the font color or the font size or change the text based on different conditions on the data. Or even to perform the calculation under specific conditions. Now we select our time period to be the last 15 minutes. And then finally, let me set some appearance options for the table, like table name, as well as fonts, colors, and which fields to include in the final table. And we're done with this table. I'll now add a second automatic statistical table, but this time we'll use discrete tags instead of analogs, and select our tags. In this case, we'll show summary information for a set of pumps and motors. Keep our reporting time period to be the last 15 minutes. We'll display summary information for these pumps and motors, but this time these performance functions we'll use include the number of on transitions and off transitions, time and state, and availability. All very useful parameters when analyzing discrete tags. And again, I'll set additional parameters for the functions such as captions and formatting the output. And let me set appearance options again, like table name, fonts, and colors. Our basic report is complete. So let's save it. And then generate it. 
As you can see, we have our data neatly summarized in these two tables. For the pumps and motors, you can see the on and off times in states shown in hours, minutes, and seconds format, and the availability as a percentage of uptime. Okay, so let's return to Studio and add a second page to our report. On this page, we'll again show summarized data using the automatic statistical table, but this time calculated over the duration of the last batch that ran. We'll choose a batch tag. And then we select last batch for our time period. Select the functions to display, the batch ID, start and end times, and the batch duration. We format this table. And now we'll add one final automatic statistical table. Here we'll select tank level and temperature tags again. Select our functions to display. And again, we'll use the last batch for the time period. Finally, set our table appearance options. Give our table a name, some alignments, colors, and font settings. And we're done with this table. Let's add a page number object to our report now that we have multiple pages. And apply a background image to the report as well. Let's save the report again. Reload it and then we'll generate it. And there we have the first page again with statistics for the last 15 minutes. And then on the second page, we display the last batch that ran up at the top, and then all the associated statistics displayed below for that specific batch.